For this ensemble, it's not the music they'll be performing that's unusual, it's the orchestra itself. Europe's first to be made up entirely of black and minority ethnic players. The aim? To encourage people from underrepresented backgrounds to see this as a possible career path. The ideas come from acclaimed double bass player Chichi Nwanoku. Music itself does not discriminate. It's what goes on around it sometimes that, that can cause those blockages, those barriers. But we need to just make those barriers invisible because music's for everybody. It's, it's a universal language. One factor thought to be responsible for the low number of black and minority players is a lack of classical music in some children's cultural backgrounds and for some less well-off families, there's the cost of learning an instrument. The only thing that's not to blame, a lack of talent. This might be an art form that's primarily about sound, but the orchestra knows the power of this kind of visual in changing a perception that's built up over hundreds of years that classical music is, for the most part, for people from a middle-class white background. Adam Winter from Chineke's double bass section plays in other orchestras, including the Philharmonia. His school and his family encouraged him to become a musician. He wants others to follow. There's just so many black and ethnic minority people succeeding in all other forms of music that it seems silly not to try and harness some of the talent and you know get it into the orchestras. This project is about more than correcting an orchestral imbalance. Margaret Cookhorn, a soloist at this year's BBC Proms, wants audiences to change too. We want to be able to reach to minorities, to, the, to those people who would never step into a concert hall. We want them to hear us and just to hear Western classical music, to hear us playing as an ensemble. The orchestra's first performance will be at London's Queen Elizabeth Hall on Sunday. As well as entertaining, the players hope their music could also represent the sound of change. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News.